everyone, welcome back to The List. Good news, Cardinals fans. We'll be seeing Bruce Arians and his Kangol hat for four more years. Rodney Spencer takes a look at the coach's fashion statement and his weird hat obsession. It's just one of the top talkers around the valley. At number one, Bruce Arians just inked a four-year deal with the Arizona Cardinals. That means we get four more years of that Kangol hat. The brand originated in London, and he supposedly owns somewhere between 20 and 30 of them in every color. It seems the 62-year-old coach teamed up with LL Cool J in an effort to save the struggling Kangol industry. All right, so Bruce signed with the Cardinals back in 2013, and he petitioned the NFL to allow him to wear his beloved hat, but his request was denied. If that's an excuse, we're going to fix that one real quick. The league has an obsession with uniforms and their officials on the sidelines monitor everything from the high socks to the tucked in jerseys. At number two, entrepreneurs unite. We are in the middle of Phoenix Startup Week where nearly 3,000 people will gather over a five-day period to attend 130 networking events around the valley. One major push this year is increasing female attendance. Chase Bank even stepped in and donated $175,000 to the ASU Women's Entrepreneurial Initiative. At number three, at first it was Apple, now it's Microsoft. The technology guru has its sights set on North Phoenix for a new data center. That means more high paying jobs could be coming to the Valley. If it happens, workers will be making between 70 and $90,000 a year, nearly double Arizona's median household salary for 49 grand. The data center would create up to 100 full-time positions. Now you're caught up and clued in around the Valley.